Welcome to Scramble, where today I'm here in beautiful Brighton. Come on, look at this place. Absolutely stunning. Gordon's in Brighton today. Now, I think this was the same place, and I actually think that's the same pier, correct me if I'm wrong, that we've actually seen Jamie Cook in with a few of his videos. So if anybody knows, let me know down in the comments down below if this is the same pier that Jamie uses that's behind Gordon, or if it's another. And guess what? I've got a very special guest with me. Now, him and I have sparred many times on social media, and trust me, he is brutal. This is gonna send Uncle Roger into overdrive. In fact, he's been reviewing chefs across the world, including my own. Everyone except me, not yet. And I have made a double and a Spanish fried rice as well, mind you. So if you haven't seen those videos, check those videos out and send them to Uncle Roger for him to review. I'd appreciate it greatly. But I did manage to impress him once, and my last video was such a big hit. Please welcome the amazing, the one and only, Uncle Roger. Hello, hello, Gordon. How you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. Trying to impress me today? <laughs> First of all, you took the piss out of me about Indonesian food. If anyone doesn't understand what Gordon just said, Taking the piss out of someone is giving somebody a hard time. I, I, I grafted my ass off. I got up to speed with <laughs> Rangdang. Oh! I, I think I've cooked Rangdang more times than you. Probably, Ooh. probably. Uncle Roger just talk shit a lot. But why did you slate it? Because it really hurt me. <laughs> you didn't, I didn't review a Rangdang. You fuck up ramen. You just put, you, you make like college student cup noodle. Uh, yeah. How many restaurants, how many stars you have? I need to take it back. It was Ramsey in 10, so I didn't have 10 hours to cook amazing stuff. That's the secret behind a good ramen. Normally with making ramen, it takes a very long time. You have to make the broth or the stock for at least a day ahead. It's a very slow and long process. Now, Gordon tried to make literally a ramen in 10, not using instant ramen, but actually making everything from scratch. Gordon tried, he did good, but um, Uncle Roger gave him a very hard time. Very hard time. 10 minutes, nobody can make good food in 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. You're not Jamie Oliver. Stop taking shortcut. Oh, okay, I'm gonna cook you an Asian style sort of breakfast bag. No, don't. don't. Yeah, every time you're cooking, you outdoor. Are you homeless or something? Who, whose balcony is this? <laughs> We're filming here, Future Food Stars, so it's just a way of grabbing 10 minutes in the sun and cooking you an amazing breakfast, okay? Okay, let's see what you've got, Gordon. Normally when you work in the kitchen 12, 16, 18 hours a day, you get very tired of seeing the same things all the time. So cooking outside is like a sigh of relief. You have something different to look at while you're cooking. And I actually prefer cooking outside, especially when I was catering and banqueting, than I did in the kitchen because it's something new all the time. You know, it's more adventure. But I have to admit, the area that Gordon and Uncle Roger are cooking is quite nice. The objective of this is get my Uncle Crown back, please. Okay. Touch of rapeseed oil. In there. Yeah. A little oil. oil. I couldn't see that, but it does look like olive oil. The color of the bottle looks like olive oil. It's a, it's a mixture. Right, pour belly in. Look okay. at this, look at this tin foil. Look like you're making cocaine and mess. <laughs> what is this? It's, it's windy. It's windy. <laughs> so I need to protect my heat. Okay. How many houses you have, Gordon? You can't what? cook info? <laughs> Even the pan don't like you. Anytime that you have oil in the pan and you're going to put something in it, like with fish, meat, whatever it may be, you need to be careful because it can spit at you like it just did with Gordon. But you do need to be careful because a few times I've been hit in the face and uh, if it weren't for my glasses, I would have been hit in the eyes. <laughs> I need my crown back, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> Pour belly in, okay? Now, I, I sort of, I cured it so it's lightly seasoned nice, and lightly nice. salt, okay? Nice. Don't color, turn it. Color. Okay, Gordon said that he cured the pork, so it's already lightly seasoned. This is good, that I add more flavor to it. Whilst we're waiting for that, I'm gonna get my buns in there mm. and toast, okay? Just to get them a little bit crispy. Oh, you even have your restaurant logo on the bun. <laughs> This guy really trying really hard, this guy? Wait, 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 wait. It's a little bit of authenticity. You've been to Boggy Hills. Oh, authenticity? Yes. Asian Flavor. people, we don't stamp our friend on everything. I saw it. In really? Japan. Yes. Okay. okay, bacon, beautifully colored. Mm. Now, I want the fat coming out of there, nice. coming in to those bugs, right? Good, good, good. We're gonna do one each. And fingers crossed with this Asian style breakfast, I'm gonna get my crown back, yes? That's the third time, if not the fourth, that Gordon has said he's going to get his crown back. He wants his crown back. I honestly think it means a lot to Gordon Ramsay, his crown from Uncle Roger. Maybe even more than a Michelin star. Gordon, I think you're forgetting one important ingredient already. Gordon, please. What's that? 
MSG for oh, no. you. Oh. <laughs> Do you cook with MSG, no, Gordon? it's not healthy. No, 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 no. Don't worry, I need to do lots of different type of white powder no, before. No, 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 here, no, here. You've got, to, you've got to let me finish this breakfast. Okay, please. Okay. No, 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 that stuff's not good for you, okay? You need to be careful. For everybody watching, do you agree with Gordon that MSG isn't good for you? Because it's naturally occurring in quite a few vegetables, like mushrooms and other ingredients, even tomatoes. But do you agree that it's bad for you? Let me know in the comments down below. What's that noise? Snack, crackle, and pop. Let the sound of your restaurant close. <laughs> the buns, nice and crispy. Mm. Okay, uh, maybe. Burn, maybe. <laughs> nice and crispy. <laughs> maybe that's a little bit burnt. Camera, okay. close up. Why are you throwing? No, no. Evidence, evidence. Camera, close up. You're Remember? You're talking to me. It's burnt, okay? <laughs> Stop it, MSG. Why are you bringing out MSG now? Why did you do that to me? Come on. Now this is what happens when you're distracted, especially with Uncle Roger giving you a hard time or taking the piss out of you. Uh, you burn, <laughs> you burn your little buns. Right, buns, lightly toasted, okay. lightly toasted. Okay. Improving. Improving. Good, good, young grasshopper. Good, good. Pork, pork belly, pretty nice and crispy. Okay. Now, as that starts to render, it smells Yes. Yep. And we'll just lightly like season with a little touch of cover ash and spice. Mom, no, 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 mom. at the beginning, if you put too much on, it's going to burn, okay? Okay, okay, okay? Buns, top and bottom. And all I want is just a little touch of texture on those buns, okay? Mm. Just a touch. By texture, you mean destroying the bun? No, <laughs> flavour. Look at this. He's not giving Gordon a break, is he? Now, you know I love beautiful crispy eggs, yeah? Mm, yes. I'm going to cook the eggs Let's see. inside that fat. Crack on a flat surface. Always, always, always. What do you crack on your forehead? That's the biggest flat surface. Uncle Roger, <laughs> ever see? That is years and years of a kitchen. I years, my son, years, my son. Crack with one hand, Gordon. Show us. No, I don't want to show off. No, I don't want to show off. How come your forehead's nice and smooth with no wrinkles and mine is wrinkled? How? You need moisturizer on your face. Can't afford it. But don't worry, take Jamie Oliver. Wet rice, moisturize your face instantly. <laughs> Hiya. 14 Michelin star needs a nephew. 14 Michelin star. If anyone doesn't know, Gordon and Jamie have had a bit of a rivalry for the past well, few decades. And I think they buried the hatchet, meaning they made peace, but maybe not because even in you know, a few other clips, Gordon still doesn't really like Jamie's cooking. How good are your scrambled eggs on a scale of one to 10? Well, I like them differently to you. Oh. I like them diner style. I don't like this French creamy stuff that I have to eat with a spoon. It's just not very... I like to be able to stab my eggs and pick them up. Hold on a minute. Now you're sounding like <laughs> Jamie Oliver. Okay, spring onions. Okay. Just Let's for a little touch. Work. Just a touch. No, good okay. chopping, good chopping. Now, I'm going to cook those eggs nice and crispy. Okay. But I want a little bit of colour in there. Mm. Okay? Don't waste the spring onions. I'm fed up with people wasting the ends. The ends are good, right? Not yes. the whole thing. Yes. You need to waste a little bit. So, a touch on the bottom. Okay. Okay. And a touch on top. Now, onto the eggs we go. Mm. Look at those eggs. Look good, look good. They do look good. A touch okay. of spice. Uncle Roger approved okay. this. And then from there, I'm just going to get a little touch of seaweed. Seaweed in now? Just for seasoning, mm. just a touch. Okay. I'll explain why in a minute. Usually we don't break up the seaweed, we serve the whole seaweed as one piece. I know, I know, I'm wearing bright so I can break it up. Now even though that Gordon is putting the seaweed in the pan, he's not necessarily cooking it, he's just putting it on top of the eggs. That's basically going to steam, he's not frying the seaweed. It's okay, it'll add a little bit of flavour. Bacon, juicy crispy. I've got a useful mm. barbecue honey glaze. Barbecue sauce, mm. where you get it, this from? This was made. Really? Yesterday. Mm. And you just cat. get from shop? Ramsey has been truthful. It was made. Um, he didn't say by who, but he did say it was made, and obviously it was. Listen to me, that's a hot sauce. Yes, 7 Eleven in Tokyo, in Japan. <laughs> yes. And that one there is our sriracha hot sauce as well. This is our Ooh, hot sauce. Sriracha. Just a touch of my eggs. Nice. Give no. Uncle Roger a slight taste. How good is that? Mm. It's better than Jamie Oliver, chili jam. No, we don't chili jam here. No chili jam here. Better than the chili jam and probably also the mango chutney. He puts it in everything, including the mac and cheese. If you haven't seen that video, go see it. Don't waste those, please. I'll use those later. Okay, okay. Now we start the assembly. Good. 
the exciting part. One beautiful slice mm. of bacon good, on the base. Good. Little touch. In. Gas off. In. And then from there. And now you said about that beautiful crispy egg. Okay. Yeah, we saw that. Uncle Roger sprinkled a little bit of his magic powder on top of his sandwich. Naughty, naughty. I want the crispy, mm. crispy this base. This pan, you can use a metal spoon in it, no problem. Now, yes, these pans are non-stick, the hex clad. They're good pans, if not, Ramsey wouldn't use them. I even have a few. But, like everything, you have to know how to treat them correctly. Egg on. Nice, nice. Crispy on the outside. Crispy on the bottom is what I think he means. I want a runny yolk. Nice, it looked good, it looked good. Mm. Now, from there, one little thing left, just a touch mm. of a little that sauce. On top. And a little touch of our And a little sauce. bit of the barbecue Spice. sauce, no? And there, my son, we go over. Okay, okay. Please. Mm. Just, nice. just visually, what do you think first, visually? Actually, not, not bad. Mm. I mean, visually, you, you can get better bun. This broken already, got <laughs> It's a bao bun. It's a sort of delicate because they're toasted inside, so it's nice and crunchy. Now, visually speaking, the sandwich looks good. It's just maybe a little difficult to eat the sandwich like this, as well as with the runny yolk. Now, to tell you a funny little story. When I was working with my father, he would make some breakfast sandwiches for us with the uh, English muffin, some sausage, some sunny side up eggs as well like this. And you know, he would put the top on the muffin for me on the little sandwich and then hand it to me. And then you get the sandwich and then you go to bite into it. And then he'd be laughing because then I'd have like yolk running down my cheek and everything. It used to annoy the you know what out of me. <laughs> In any case, if you don't want the same thing to happen and you want to eat the sandwich like normal, make it over hard. That way you don't have any runny yolk. Now. I want that yolk to burst inside mm. the bowel. Yeah. yeah. Shall we? <laughs> Squirting in my mouth. Uncle Roger. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Is that it? It's good. It's good. <laughs> well, Uncle Roger seems to like it. It's good. It's good and. Ramsey's a little disappointed. I think he's a little angry. Mm. Is there a chance the crown comes back? Anybody? Pause for effect. Jesus Christ. How many TV shows you have? You don't know this technique? Mm. Ask question again. Ask question again. <laughs> Do I get my crown back? <laughs> Oh, come on, Uncle Roger, what's the last question? Father, I have to say, I come down to Brighton today, and you successfully impressed me for you! <laughs> the crowd's back! Welcome crowd's back, back. <laughs> Uncle Gordon. Yes! Right. Excellent, thank right. you. Do you serve this a lucky cat? Uh, I'm gonna now, yes, as an Uncle Roger special. Uncle Roger has gotten so famous that he now has Gordon placing items on the menu named after him. That's impressive. Uh, the crown is back, Uncle Roger. It's been an absolute pleasure. Mm -hmm. Slow down on the MSG, <laughs> and I can't wait to see you on those videos again. Okay, good to see you, Uncle Gordon. Good job, good job. <laughs> Nephews and nieces, I am back. A lot of you guys recommended for me to review this video, and I want to thank you because it actually was a pretty fun video to watch, it was good. And it had a happy ending too. Gordon Ramsay got his crown back, so now we can call him again, Uncle Gordon. In any case guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Be sure to check out the next video coming up here. And I will see all of you again very soon. Until next time, take care.